Did you know that water bags can be used as walls in some places to heat the interior? The high heat capacity of water allows it to absorb heat from direct sunlight during the day, storing it. At night, it slowly releases this stored heat, warming the room. Thermal mass refers to materials within a building that can absorb, store, and later release heat. These materials, often dense and with high heat capacity, act as reservoirs of thermal energy. It involves using materials with high heat capacity, such as concrete, brick, stone, or rammed earth in the building structure to absorb, store, and distribute heat. This technique helps regulate indoor temperatures by minimizing temperature fluctuations, especially in regions with extreme weather conditions. How Thermal Mass Works Heat Absorption During the day, thermal mass materials absorb heat from sunlight, occupants, appliances, and the surrounding air. Heat Storage The absorbed heat is stored within the mass and released slowly when the surrounding air cools down, typically during the night or when outdoor temperatures drop. The Trump Wall is a great example of the use of thermal mass, primarily employed in cold regions. Glazing glass is placed in front of the thermal mass wall. The orientation of the wall should be such that direct light hits the glazing glass. The wall can be coated black to absorb heat as much as possible. Upper and lower vents are provided in the wall. During the daytime, the Trump Wall is heated by sunlight. We know that cool air is denser than hot air, so it always stays in the lower position. Therefore, the cool air passes through the lower vent, becomes heated in the gap, and rises, exiting from the upper vent. This natural convection process enhances heat transfer within the system. During the night, the wall slowly releases the stored heat as the surrounding air cools down, warming the room. Both vents are closed to trap heat inside and maintain a comfortable indoor temperature. Key considerations for passive design homes. Material selection, choose materials with high thermal mass properties. Concrete, brick, stone, and adobe are excellent choices. The thickness and density of the material also impact its thermal mass capabilities. Placement. Position thermal mass materials strategically where they can be exposed to direct sunlight during the day and radiate heat into living spaces at night. Orientation. Design the home with consideration for the sun's path. South-facing windows allow sunlight to directly reach the thermal mass, maximizing its heat absorption potential. Overhangs and shading. Use appropriate overhangs and shading devices to control the amount of sunlight reaching the thermal mass. This prevents overheating in the summer while allowing maximum sun exposure in the winter. By integrating thermal mass into the design of a home, you can create a comfortable indoor environment while reducing the reliance on active heating and cooling systems.